feeling naughty tonight, are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Look, come with me. See over here? There's an empty seat in lesbian row. <laughs> Did you see? There's an empty seat in Lesbian Row. Now that's because Lindsay... <laughs> Lindsay the lesbian! <laughs> that's because Lindsay, it's, she's not... She went to the bathroom before we started the show and her friends very loyally told me her name. <laughs> and then what we decided to do was wait until she comes back from the bathroom. <laughs> and embarrass her in front of the large audience of dozens of people who watch this show. <laughs> she's, oh, she's coming back. She's coming back. <laughs> she's coming back. It's very exciting. Come on, come on back, Lindsay. <laughs> come on. We, we haven't started yet. We have. <laughs> come on. Come on, it's fine. Come on up. Yeah, it's fine. Come on, Lindsay, everybody. Please take your seat there. See that red light on top of the camera there? Yep. That means it's on. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Craig, you rotten stinker, you're thinking. Why are you making fun of the poor girl who had to go to the bathroom? It's not like we all don't go to the bathroom. That's just where you're wrong. Celebrities don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right then, was it? I mean, it was clean and everything, I, I, you know. Well, that's good. I feel a bit stupid now. It's probably a stupid idea to do that, wasn't it? I've got to go to the bathroom. You don't even have a bladder. You don't even have any liquids in you. Don't answer that. <laughs> we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Applebee's. This year, resolve to have it all. Come in and try Applebee's new under 550 calories menu. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. believable. <laughs> I'm trying to calm it down a bit and you're going crazy with your completely genuine applause and love. <laughs> Apparently I was too frisky last night. Last night's show it was very frisky. It was like, a, it was like Pee Wee's Playhouse on crack. <laughs> it was a little bit. So tonight I'm going to try and be a little calmer. I'm going to walk up and down and uh, talk a little like this. I can't do it. What the hell were you doing? No, 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 man. I tell you what, it's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. It was the, the New Hampshire primary. Uh, it was today, and it just moments ago, with 95% of precincts reporting, CBS News has just reported that no one gives a crap. <laughs> do, you, do you follow the... Uh, don't give a crap. All right. <laughs> Mitt Romney had a huge lead going into the primary. It would have taken a miraculous, divinely inspired comeback for anyone to defeat him. So let me be the first to say congratulations, President Tim Tebow. <laughs> 
Oh, so you're keeping it quiet tonight instead of me. That's good. They're keeping the energy down, Jeff. That's great. Really helping us out. Yeah, really helping us out. Thanks a lot, everybody, staring blankly at me. That's like what it must be like watching the show at home. <laughs> the f*** is this? That's like watching the show from over here. Hey, what the hell, man? I love you, man. I love yeah, you. Ah, come on. Were you just joshing with me? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a great day if you like the gadgets. Do you like gadgets? Oh, do tell. <laughs> well, today was the start of the 2012 Consumer Electronics uh, Show, the CES. You know, where the humans blend with technology. It's always held in Las Vegas. We got married in Las Vegas. Didn't we, yes, remember? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. That was the night this human blended with that technology. <laughs> it was more of a puree. <laughs> Uh, Vegas is going through some tough times right now. The economy's bad. The economy is so bad in Vegas. Let's see. The economy is so bad in Vegas. The last time I was there, Louis Anderson had taken a second job as a bouncy castle. Jeff? Oh, the economy is so bad in Vegas that women are throwing their panties at Tom Jones and asking for them back. Nice! <laughs> the economy is so bad in Vegas that Bellagio replaced the dancing waters with a fat guy holding a hose. Ooh. Nice. Uh, Oh, the economy in Vegas is so bad, I was the only one in the audience for Thunder Down Under. And it was amazing. Yeah, well, I was there, too. I didn't want to say it out loud. Anyway, this year at the Consumer Electronics Show, everyone's talking about the voice control TV. It's TV that you control with your voice. <laughs> Instead of the back-breaking work of pressing a button on the remote, the endless, tedious, enormous exercise of going like that, you can now just yell Kardashians at the TV. Be careful, though, if you yell Chloe, you get Animal Planet. <laughs> see what I did? Do you see what I did? You know, the voice control doesn't work for, for me, though, because it doesn't work with Scottish accents. Although people in Scotland now are saying to me, you don't have a Scottish accent anymore. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> but it doesn't work with a Scottish accent. There, there have been thousands of complaints about the new Siri feature on the iPhone 4. It doesn't understand a Scottish accent unless you're Sean Connery. <laughs> Where can I and have a cup of coffee? <laughs> Can you do Sean Connery? And by that, I mean his voice. Of course I can, yeah. Ah, sh Wait a minute, Jeff. There can be only one. Well, I think it's time for a dual Highlander. All right, come over here, then. I hate you. Ah. <laughs> you know, when I... I st the Scottish accent thing is true. When I tell my iPhone to find a website, it says, I don't understand. I will get you gay porn. <laughs> every single time I use the iPhone, so I bought another one. Because <laughs> I want two gay porn websites. I don't understand. I will get you gay porn. Anyway, I wouldn't mind going to this consumer electronics show. I'd love to see the new state-of-the-art devices, because that's where the technology will be, you know, what's being used in CBS about 40 years from now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Look at these cameras. Look, look. Here, use that camera, take a picture of that camera. Look at that camera over there. Look, 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 look at that. <laughs> anyway, the government of China has a big uh, presence at this year's electronics, uh, you know, uh, show. The Chinese government. Well, they, they want to know what the Chinese kids are going to be building later in the month. <laughs> Uh, the big hits at the CES show this year, the, the new apps. There's lots of new apps that uh, you can pay for stuff with your, your smartphone. I was unaware that there were apps other than Angry Birds. Do you play the Angry Birds? I, I, I do. I play a different version, though. Oh, yeah. What, what is it's it? It's called then? Angry Penises. <laughs> I see. And how does, uh, how does that work, Jeff? Well, you just you throw penises at things, <laughs> and, and they're very angry. What, the, the things you throw them at, or the penises themselves? I think everybody's generally angry in the game. I see. How can you tell? <laughs> How 
can you tell when a penis is angry? I'm not at liberty to say on the show. Right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, apparently the new smartphones are going to be so thin, they'll probably replace credit cards. It's only a matter of time before people start chopping up their cocaine with their phone. <laughs> One of the most heavily anticipated launches at the CES is from Microsoft. They're unveiling a, a, a foldable laptop uh, and uh, Windows 8, which is like Windows Vista, except it works. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Microsoft's getting good reviews for their new gadgets. Uh, they're built, uh, they built on that good feeling by hiring a true iconoclast, a real wild person, as their CES spokesman. Because nothing says going against the grain like Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> He's the Microsoft spokesman. Seacrest is about as much anti-corporate bad boy as Mitt Romney. I bet you, though, that Apple tries to steal Microsoft's thunder. What they'll do is they'll make an Apple version of Ryan Seacrest, which will be tinier. <laughs> It'll be the iRyan. And the real... Because, like, are you, the real Ryan Seacrest can already fit in your pocket, so the iRyan will fit in the pocket of the real Ryan Seacrest that go in your pocket. And it'll have a special mode that'll pretend to like girls. <laughs> See what I did? I saw that. See what I did? I just made up a rumor about my Ryan Seacrest. It's not true. He's a total tool. <laughs> Is he? Have you met him? I've never met him. Uh, yeah, in the biblical sense. <laughs> you met Ryan Seacrest in church? <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant, Craig. Do you want to do the, uh... Sure. All right. Coming up after the break, one lucky audience member will go home and take it from me. If you're sitting in this audience, that's exactly where you want to be. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Now, before we uh, go any further, anybody have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> You all right, Jeff? I'm good, man. How are yeah. you? You know, I'm okay. I was at the dentist today. I went to the dentist today. Oh. Yeah. Was there drilling involved? <laughs> there was drilling involved, actually. Yeah, I got, I got one of my tooth drilled. There was a cavity. I had to have a cavity filled. You could probably do your own uh, joke there. I won't. <laughs> you don't want to do a joke about having a cavity filled? I think we've already made the joke. <laughs> Did it hurt? Are you, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. A little woozy. <laughs> but I was a little woozy before I went to the dentist. I had my teeth cleaned as well. Cleaned by that, you know, that picky thing that they use. What do they call it again? Uh, the picky thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they cleaned my teeth with that picky thing and uh, my, my gums were bleeding. <laughs> I figure the only way to win this audience round is uh, go for sympathy. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be working. Not working. <laughs> All right, well, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to read your letters, and for total robot assimilation, machines rule the world, die, humans die. Hey! <laughs> Twitter. Tweets will set you free. Try Sarasota. Twitter. Tweet the night with me. Check the tweets. Also, email. And also, email. All right. This is, from, uh, this is from Rick in Rochester, New York. He says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, I found out that I have shingles. Ooh, I had shingles. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you win them round. Get really ill. <laughs> hmm. I had rickets and I died. <laughs> I don't think you can die of rickets. I did. Well, I got shingles. Uh, no, so I found out I have shingles. They're even in the same place you said yours were. No, I had mine in California. <laughs> Do you have any advice? Yeah, uh, stay still. For a long time. I take the... See, uh, what I would have done, if I could have, when, when the shingles was at their height, is I would have taken powerful narcotic painkillers. But unfortunately, I had all of mine in the 1980s. <laughs> 
And the, the doctor said to me, he said, you know, you can take some, you know, you can take some painkillers. It's not like you're going to turn into a crazy drug addict just taking a little bit of codeine. I'm like, no, 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 doc, I was a crazy drug addict before I met you. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Uh, hey and Jeff. Look at that, that's what it says. Hey and Jeff. <laughs> like you did go. <laughs> All right. This is from uh, Brittany in Memphis, Tennessee. You ever been to Memphis? Oh, yeah, you go to you go to Elvis. Oh, I love Elvis. I love Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Craig and Jeff, while babysitting my 12-year-old brother recently, I caught him looking at pornography. <laughs> Do I say anything to my parents or be a good sister? I think you'd be a good sister if you did say something to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> You're asking the wrong guy, I don't know. Now, this is from Brett in Lancaster, but you, you see that Brett, uh, as we can see here, is a flamingo. Now, what do we know? Flamingos, Jeff. They smell terrible. They smell terrible. <laughs> Flamingos smell like ass. <laughs> They're really, they smell awful. Sometimes in hot days here in LA, if you're very near the zoo or even far from the zoo, you can smell the flamingos. <laughs> it's horribly pungent. It is. Sometimes you should just have to wake up and smell the flamingos. <laughs> have you I ever don't understand. I will get you gay porn. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, from Andrew in Evansville in uh, Indiana. He says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, would it be strange to write a thank you note after a date? <laughs> it depends what you had to eat. <laughs> oh, I go for a meal in a restaurant, you go to... Ay caramba! Ay caramba! Don't, don't suppose any of that's getting in the show, is it? <laughs> Not even the part about what people had to eat? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, uh, when you go on a date, if you have something nice to eat, do you, uh, uh, do you send a thank you note? Every time. Every time. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Damon in Springfield, Illinois. Who's, uh, Damon, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, Damon uh, is an owl. <laughs> It was Damien the spawn of Satan, no, it was Damien, wasn't it? Damien the spawn of Satan? Yeah, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I've been a karate instructor for ten years. Oh! <laughs> How would you rate your skills in self-defense? Awesome. <laughs> right, Jeff? <laughs> Absolutely. Show, your, show them your big karate move there, Jeff, that arm thing Here's you do. Here's my one move. Yeah, yeah. hi yeah. Here's mine. key ya. Mm. Keep that up, I'll be leaving your letter after the date. Do you like, uh, do you like the martial arts? Big fan of martial arts. <laughs> Love the that hop keto. Hap Kido? Do you like the Hap Kido? No idea. <laughs> Do you know what I like is I, I like the, uh, the other one, not the Hap Kido, the, what's the, Kendo. Yeah, Kendo. K Kendo, yeah, that's a sword fighting. <laughs> it's not really, I just made it. I'm sure a lot of Kendo people out there go, it's not sword fighting. You're right, well done. I, I thought you said Kendall for a second. Oh, I like a Kendall, yeah. Because that is I don't understand fight. your accent. I will get you gay porn. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Key, yeah. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. My uh, first guest tonight is a judge. Uh, a judge? <laughs> oh, Project Runway. Phew. Uh, Project Runway All Stars. Oh. <laughs> Thursday nights on Lifetime. Mm. <laughs> Take a look at hey, this. 
<laughs> but what is that thing? <laughs> Let's find out with the adorable Isaac Mizrahi, everybody. Isaac Mizrahi. How are you, darling? You know I'm very, very well. How are you? You look I'm great. I'm well. So do you. You look really cute again. Oh, stop. Now, true. see, you've got to stop this because you're you wow. married now. Congratulations. <gasps> That's right. Yes. So you watch Wendy Williams, too? Sure. Yeah. I well, do watch Wendy No, I have to tell you the story about that. Okay. Because I got married, not in secret necessarily, but we didn't tell a bunch of people. And, and you know, I told my mom and I told his mom and we told everybody, you know. You married a guy? Yeah, of course oh, I married okay, a guy. Okay, yeah. No, I married you I'm know, kidding, I'm Ryan kidding. Seacrest's girlfriend or something. You know. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, Would you like to lap like... some milk before we go anywhere? <laughs> exactly. Wait a minute. So we told people, right? Mm -hmm. And it was fine. And then a few weeks went by. And then a month went by. And then I went on Wendy Williams. And she said, did you get married? I said, yes, I got married. And literally, like, thousands of calls came in. People including from know? my mother. My mother goes, wait, did you get married? I was like... You need to hear it from Wendy Williams, obviously. She doesn't listen to a word I say. Well, she only did you gets have a big information about me from Wendy Williams. Did you have a big ceremony? Did you? No, no. we sort of eloped. We went to City Hall. Right. Oh, that's rather nice. It's rather nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Did you see? I actually, I tweeted a little bit from, uh, from my wedding. That's the new thing you'd like tweet from your wedding. Oh, tweet, yes. <laughs> exactly. I follow you on the tweety, I think. You do? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, you think so? That's I think so. so. Nice. I can't remember. I follow a lot of people now. Um, I used to follow only 69, but nobody got the joke, so I just kept going. Uh, ah, that's so funny. Well, actually, um, I held this contest, like a sort of a funny tweet contest about, like, the cutest gay. And with, I gave examples like, you know, Andy Cohen and Neil Patrick Harris, etc. Yes. And then I got so many people voting for you. It was like, oh, what about Craig Ferguson? So, I was wondering if something had changed. Has something changed, darling, between the last Nothing time I came that in? I've okay. noticed, <laughs> but I'll take a compliment when I get... Listen, you get some very cute gays, so if it's I'm true. in there, I'm yes, happy. It's really true. Yeah. Yeah. Did, I, did I get enough votes to register? Well, on someone the... just... Yeah, someone nominated you, and right. then we... Actually, I took the nomination very seriously. I got excited for a minute. But <laughs> obviously, nothing... Knock it off. Tell me about uh, <laughs> tell me about the project Runway All Stars then. Okay, um, it's great. It's yeah, I, I actually I, I I'm catching up on it in the DVR. I saw the one where they did the 99 cent store. One. Yes, that was right. the first one. So right, that was so a I'm lot just of catching up. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm catching up on your episodes, the first one. Well, the yeah, first one. Okay, every, you know, yes. every journey begins with the first step. Right? You're right. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. No, but it's fun because it's all these people who didn't win the last time coming back to win. Yeah, you know? I, I noticed that Kensley's there. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, Did you I, notice? Yes, I have. How a, do you know Kensley? Because I remember that bitch Shoot. from the season oh. she was on. Oh, wow. Oh, she was, oh, yeah. she was awful. You're she right. was mean to Tim. She does a lot. Tune in because she does a lot of cutthroat things. But I'm she's so kidding. talented, kidding, though. She's yeah, so the, talented. She's really talented. No, she's really, She's really also talented. cute, and I think that's why you're focusing on Kensley. No, right? no, no. Well, a bit, she's maybe. Cute. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mondo's cute. also cute. Mondo's adorable, yes, right? Yeah. And Anthony, oh, and all right, the all guys. Right, right, right. All the guys are sort of, um, oh, yeah, right, exactly. Let's get back on track, please. Project right, right, okay. All stars. So yeah. it's the all stars, all the people who have been on Project Running with the Cup. Yeah. It's like, yeah, well, yeah. that's nice. It's really good, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Absolutely. What are you doing in L.A.? Why are you here? Well, I'm here to do a few shows and take a few meetings and, you know. Oh, are you developing something? Well, maybe. Why? I'm always developing something, aren't you? Aren't no, you no, no. I'm, I'm, this is the end of the line You're for not, me, man. This is it. Uh, uh, well. This is it. We're done. Right, Jeff? I'm developing <laughs> something right now. Yeah. I flew in this morning, especially did to you just, you just, I flew in this did you morning. Just ignored yes. Jeff. I saw you oh, do Oh, hi, it. Jeff. I'm sorry. Hi, darling. I don't How understand. I, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really good. Uh, I like this. This, this is a do very you? nice touch. Yeah. Thank like you so much. Yeah. It's a little pochette. As they say, en français. Pochette? Yes. I like that. Like a pocket square? Yes, I know. Yeah. I, I Polka dot pochette. Polka dot pochette? That should be your nickname. Polka dot pochette? Or, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, it's like a video game. That's like you as a video game, Craig. Ferguson. That'll never Polka happen. Pochette. CBS doesn't no? believe in video games. They don't know it. They don't believe in video. You have to watch the violence. <laughs> right, what? exactly. You have no, to watch I don't know. Do you play video, video games? games? No, I don't. I play, I play bridge a lot. I play That's not a video bridge. game. It's not uh, a video game. <laughs> That's a thing. You play a lot of grandmas in Florida. Probably, <laughs> really. 
Actually, I have this friend in New York who I think you should meet. Oh, but you're married, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. To a woman. Yeah. yeah. No, I no, it's a woman in New York. Oh, right. Well, I um, I think you should meet my wife. I think you'd be bestie friends. But you know how many do you know how many like women there are in New York? I don't know about Los Angeles. Uh, there's probably a couple of million. Yeah. There's a million no who think you're really really cute. Like everyone in New York wants to date you. All these girls, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> If you ever think about relocating, changing, you know, starting over. No, man, I'm fine where You're I fine. am. Are you okay. Mad? I don't know. She I'm just can watch it up. My wife watches the show oh, sometimes. She does. What's, her, Not often. what's your wife's name? Now, see, don't say that. You always say that. What's your wife's name? Uh, her name is Megan. Funny joke. Oh, yeah. Megan. Oh, that's good. Oh, she's lovely. How did you? When did you? Did you elope or did you marry in a big giant way? No, we we got married in a in a snowstorm in Vermont. Well, wait a second. Now, can I just say it's odd how. People get a little offended when you elope. That's one thing I do. I will say. Mm. It's yeah, like, I was offended when you eloped. Yeah, and then, and then, and then, and then my my husband's wife. Right. My husband's wife. Well, you're your me. husband's Sorry. wife. <laughs> See, I just woke up. No, no, my husband's mom. I'm trying right? to just be like you know who? loving all the people here. You understand? Wait a second. My my husband's mom, who was so like nonplussed by the whole thing. She's such a doll. I love her so much. And she goes at some point. She said, "Well, why didn't he say it on Kelly? Because I was on Kelly's show." last week also right. Kelly Ripa. Uh, oh, like, you mean Regis's show? Well, it's now Kelly's show, though. Yeah, to yeah. you. Uh, okay. To me, it's Regis's show that right. Kelly's taken care of for a while. <laughs> okay, I understand. Wow. I love Regis, you know. I mean, you know some people yes, are Regis, some people are Kelly, some people are chicken, some people are fish. Darling, I saw the picture. You have, he has like a series of pictures in his um, sort of out, outer anteroom. There's all these pictures of people who have been on the show. La Oh, and, laughing? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Right. There's no, I don't see me on that wall at all. Well, that's, we're going to put that, we, we, now you've done the pose, we'll put yeah, it in tonight. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is that, are you sure that's the one that's you want? That's the one I want, yeah. One more shot. All right, okay. no, 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 we're out of time. Isaac, we've got to get on. Um, okay. Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, mm -hmm. uh, big cash prize, or freeze frame high five, which I've just mm -hmm. remembered about. I don't remember freeze frame. I just added it. I, we used you to did? do it and I forgot about it and I'm doing it again. Wait, is this like something that you're going to have um, trademarked? Yes. Like the copyright? Yes. So then I think maybe I will be the first one to do tra trademark. To, to high freeze five. frame, freeze high five. five. I've done yeah. it before. All right. Oh, you have? Yes. Oh, like with who, for instance? I want to know who I'm, I'm in the same company as. <laughs> You don't, want to, you don't want to know. Yes, I do. All right, men and ladies, actually. Okay, all yeah. right, all right. So, all right, so then I think I want the cash prize. The, the, the big cash prize? What yeah. time is it, Shadow Stevens? Time for the big cash prize. Prize, all right, two ways to win, Isaac. You can win right. 50 American dollars. You can either answer a question, don't touch the money until you've earned it. You can either answer the question or you can guess what's in my box. How you guess what's in my box? I imagine a box, I imagine something in it. I don't know what's in it. Jeff knows what's in it. You say it. If you're right, he gives you the money. Yeah. Okay, how do you want to do it? Um, I forgot. What am I supposed uh, to do? <laughs> you tell me. You just Question tell me. or guess? Question. All right, then. Iceland oh, is in the North Atlantic. Yeah. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. The Great Fire, which destroyed half of London in 1666, began mm -hmm. in what type of establishment? A tavern, a brothel, or a bakery? Bakery. Is the great answer you win $50? I My next guest is a very beautiful actress. She's on uh, the show One Tree Hill. Oh. <laughs> it's final season. Oh. <laughs> Premieres tonight. Ah. On the CW. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have planned that better. Uh, please welcome the very, very lovely, sexy, gorgeous Sophia Bush, everybody. <laughs> Sophia Bush. You look great. Thanks. I mean, great. Really, vavoom. How are you? You know, I'm uh, a little less gay than I was during the last segment, actually. Well, hey. Well, things are moving around. Love all the people, that's what I say. I'm 
me too. You have lovely hair. Thank you. You're really nice. It's like, did you ever think of doing a shampoo commercial? You should think about it. Uh, you know, I didn't. I've, I've never, I've never thought about it. Well, perhaps you'd like to think of it. It's the last season of One Tree Hill. Maybe shampoo could. commercials is the way that to go. That could be my next gig. Your hair does yeah. look very luscious and. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, it's. Nice. You know, I am, I am unemployed now, so. Really? Hey, why not? I don't think you're really unemployed, are you? It's just that you're an actress. You go, you do one yeah. job, it stops. You start another job. You know, it's. Yeah, but I've had a job for the past nine years, and now I'm. Hanging out. It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I got up this morning, I made a cup of coffee, I answered emails, yeah, sat yeah. in the kitchen with the dogs. Yeah, that, the, the, the lure of that will wear off after yeah. a little while, I think. Probably. No, you got to get back to work. Get back to work. What do you think? Yeah, theater? A little bit of theater, perhaps? Maybe. That's um, where I got started. I would do that. Yeah. What about something really dark, like some kind of Russian drama? Sure. Right. A little Chekhov? Chekhov. Was he Chekhov? I think thought he was writing comedies. Yeah, no. He used yeah. to say that the translators took out all the jokes. Maybe. Yeah. Mad old drunk that he was. I, uh, have you ever done any Shakespeare? A little bit. In high school, I did, I did quite a bit of theater. Did you really? Yeah, and I went to an all-girls school, so it was ah. kind of fun because we played all the girls' parts and all the boys' parts. I, I very often played a man <laughs> in high school theater. I'll, you, I'll let you go as long as you want. On really? This I didn't say played with all the boys. No, no, I said no, I didn't, no, no. You went to an all-girls school, really? Yeah. How was that? We wore uniforms. Did you wear a uniform? Mm. Do you still have your uniform? I sure do. In a box somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very creepy old man. I... You're not that. So old. what are you going to what are you going to do then? I mean, do you want to direct something? Well, I've been directing for the last three years. Right, you've been directing the show, right? Yeah, that's right. something I I really would like to continue, and I've been thinking about. Potentially, I, I work with a lot of nonprofits, so I've been thinking about maybe going to one of the countries in the developing world that I've been traveling to and, and potentially shooting, you know, maybe a mini documentary or something. Why a mini documentary? Do a full size one. And maybe I could. I feel like, you know, start small, see, get your feet wet, see how it goes. And by the way, me, I, I, when I have a camera, I never put it down. So I would probably come home with enough footage to make three documentaries. Well, I think that's what you should do then. Which country do you feel like going to? Well, I was just in Laos on a trip with Pencils of Promise, visiting schools that they've built there. Pencils of Promise? Pencils of Promise, yeah. Is that a folk group? No. Okay. It's a non-profit. Non-profit organization. But we could. I mean, we could make music with pencils. And you kids. take pencils into uh, pencil-deprived areas? And, yes. Um... Well, first, first we build the schools. Ah, the now there you are. Now there you got and something. And then we I was give. Thinking, well, yeah. you walk in, look, everybody, pencils, and be like, oh, what's that coming to go? <laughs> uh, what about building a school first? <laughs> but you, so, you actually build a yes, school. we build oh, the schools, then we pass out the pencils. And, um, right. and I'm, I'm also working with a great charity right now. Uh, called Crikey. cancer. So now we've both dropped the f bomb, and we're both going to get bleeped. And uh, and and I'm Do raising you money for them. Someone so. so beautiful, so could be so profane. So offensive. Really? That's yeah. a that, so that's an anti-cancer. I don't think yeah. there are many pro-cancer organizations. I don't think so. Either. I don't think most people like it. No, no, uh, no. Bad but, business. But we're we're really working on just kicking its ass. You're going to need a couple of doctors for that. Aren't yeah. You? yeah. Oh, there you are. That's nice. Yeah, we've got Where did you make the One Tree Hill again? In North Carolina. Yeah, so you're going to... That's why I wasn't here more often. Yeah, no, no. Now I'm home. I'll come over all the time. Yeah, anytime you like. <laughs> I get rid of the robots. Help yourself. You can have the podium. I'm coming for you, Jeff. Oh, mama. <laughs> oh, mama? I am so not gay anymore. Oh, <laughs> You can't m move that kind of thing around just willy... Well, never mind. Maybe. What? Maybe. Maybe you could, yeah. Did yeah. you ever have any uh, experiences? <laughs> any experiences? No, but I've kissed a lot of women on screen. God, I've, that's cool. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What, on One Tree Hill? No. Because I'm like, really? No, not I, there. I should watch that more. No, not there, but, but I, I, I got to make out with Kate Mara on Nip Tuck, which was fun because she's really beautiful. Yeah. And then I got to kiss my girlfriend, Brittany, uh, when we did this movie called John Tucker Must Die together. Yeah. And the, it's weird because when we're out together, a lot of people are like, we can just kiss each other again. And I'm like, really? Are we still? Like, what's going on here? Like, I don't think men grow out of that. No, we don't. No. Well, you see, what it is is the, the allure and the, the mystery of, you know, uh, lesbian sex for men is this. It's right. like girls who are sexually aroused without another dude in there wasting it for you. That's what heterosexual uh -huh. men think. So when you see two women, like, you know, making out, it's like, right. oh, look, they're kissing and there's no guy involved. 
that I could be it's the like one to help the them out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I could get in there and, you know, man it up for everybody. Right. Forgetting, yeah. of course, conveniently, that if, if this is a genuine lesbian encounter, then the they're two women, interested. they're like, why, why right. get away from us? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that would, would bum guys out more than anything, because you know your chances are sort of shot. But I guess that's why it's the fantasy. We don't live in the real life. world. Oh, I know. We don't. Yeah. yeah. So you're, gonna, you're moving back to L.A. then? That's yeah, it. I'm back. I'm home. I'm unpacking boxes. Really? Like, boxes like of something. what? Stuff. Clothes, shoes, books. Do you still have uh, firearms? Do you have your guns? Yes, I do. All right. Do you have yeah. a concealed uh, weapons permit for California? Well, it's no. My I got my permit in North Carolina, so yeah, it's valid in, in 32 states, but not here. Yeah, California is a tough one. So you have to prove uh, mental competency. I don't have one either. Uh, I don't know if I could prove that I'm mentally competent, but I could certainly prove that some of the people who send me very frightening letters, yeah. you know, signed in their own blood, are mentally incompetent, and that I should be able to camp. Don't say that. You vile. Them up, they'll be watching. Sorry. Yeah, they're like, oh, I'm gonna need more ink. Enthusiastic. <laughs> Enthusiastic. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a worry. Well, listen, we're out of time. So, uh, what do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause, uh, freeze frame, high five, or um, big I, cash prize? I'm gonna go big cash prize because I can donate it to my to my fundraiser right now. If I win, so yeah, basically, if, you if, win. I, get the, I, mean, uh, basically I don't like. If I get the question nah, wrong, no, 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 then you're screwed, of, and you no, should give us the money emotional anyway. Emotional blackmail, right there, you see, because you said, oh, you I can give it to a non-profit, and I'm like, oh, well, look, you know why? Why don't you just take okay. money, then, Sophia? <laughs> oh, just, just take ask, it, ask, take it, you know. Ask me the question. Do you want it? Yes. You win. So be a buzz, everyone. <laughs> If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. It's GP and the Ferns. Epilogue. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought we were done. I did, too. I was getting ready, but going for a tattoo, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm going to get some new ink. Jeff, uh, well, I'll just draw something on you. What are you going to draw? I don't know. I'll get a pencil and work it out. <laughs> then I'll draw something on you. <laughs> See you there? Yeah, yeah we never close. <laughs> so, what do you want to do now? No, I don't know. Maybe uh, go out dancing. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> want to go see a movie? Have you seen any good movies? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. What'd you see? Yeah. Uh, a angry penises. <laughs> do you mean War Horse? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> see, I, I understand sometimes your mind go... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Cover me, cover me, guy. Do you hear that? Just wait there.